God, look at all these bright and beautiful faces in the crowd tonight. Let me see, let me see. I think we have some new faces here, huh? That's exciting, that's fun. Well, welcome, welcome back to uh, another episode of Talk Shows. As you all know, I'm your host, Ellen Disingenuous. Uh, now, real quickly, I would like you guys to take a quick look underneath your seat. Oh, you guys don't see anything? How about check your pockets? Hey, what is hey. going on? Oh, there isn't anything in there either? Well, that's weird. Actually, <laughs> no it isn't. I have all of your things, including, but not limited to, your wallet, your car keys, your credit cards, your phone, and your children. Don't ask me how I got them. I, you know, okay, stop, stop panicking. I know you're scared, but you should have known this. This is the Ellen Disingenuous Show. We don't give people things, we take them away. That's our whole motto. And now I'm putting straps around all of your wrists so you're strapped here. And you may be thinking, Saji, I mean, Ellen, why would you do that to us? Well, because I need my view duration to go up so I can get more views on my videos, which means more subscribers, which eventually means money, obviously. So get comfortable because you're gonna be here for quite a little bit. So today we're gonna be talking about The Ellen Show. Uh, if you're not familiar with all the shit that went down this summer, um, I'll explain it to you real quickly, but if you want to know more in depth, I suggest you check out Drew Gooden's video. He does a great job with everything, and it's hilarious and very well put together. So yeah, I suggest you check out his video after this one, of course. But basically, there are a bunch of allegations of mistreatment in the workplace, explicitly from her and other higher-up positions in the office and behind the workplace, uh, and everything was just really bad. And they're, I mean, they're all alleged, but there's so many that you have to think like some part of this has to be true, you know? A thousand people aren't gonna make up these accusations for no reason, right? And now the only people who said that these weren't true were A-list celebrities. But obviously Ellen isn't gonna treat them like she treats her employees because they're A-list celebrities. Throughout quarantine, um, the Ellen show hasn't really produced any new episodes. They've just been kind of on hold because of A, all the controversy and drama and B, uh, I mean, we're in quarantine, so you can't really do anything. But on their YouTube channel, they were releasing clips of previous episodes to keep their channel alive. Now, recently, uh, seven days since the recording of this video, um, Ellen released a monologue, a first monologue of season 18. Now, it doesn't have apology in the title at all. So I guess she expects us not to expect an apology. Keep in mind, there were some some hefty accusations on Twitter. Now, it, it is titled Ellen's first monologue of season 18, but I think she should retitle it to be Ellen's first apology of season 18 because there's, there's gonna be more videos. I guarantee you, this is not gonna just brush over like she thinks it is. Oh boy, welcome to season 18 of the Ellen DeGeneres Show. If you're watching because you love me, thank you. If you're watching because you don't love me, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny joke, Ellen. Me laugh. Now, Ellen's new season includes a very virtual audience. I mean, like, a f ton of vertical flat screen TVs. It just looks very unnatural, but I mean, I get it. It has to be virtual, right? The only thing is, with her previous seasons, with the real live audience, we get like a real laughter, right? It may be a laugh track, but the people are also laughing. So when they laugh, it kind of tells the audience back at home that, okay, Ellen made a joke, she's being sarcastic, it's our turn to laugh. But with these virtual fans, they're obviously using a laugh track, so it kind of like takes away 110% of the comedy, if there even is any in any of her jokes. How was everybody's summer, good? Yeah? Mine was great. Oh yeah, we know Ellen, we know how great it was. So eye-opening. <laughs> Let's get to it. Um, as you may have heard, this summer there were allegations of a toxic work environment at our show. Oh boy, let's see what she's gonna say about the rumors, about the conspiracy, about the controversy. Let's see what she's gonna apologize, is she gonna own up to it? I learned that things happened here that never should have happened. I take that very seriously and I wanna say I am so sorry to the people who were affected. Well, hold on, slow your horses down, Ellen. I, th I think you missed a big thing. Most of those allegations were pointed towards you because you did something. So how are you just now hearing about it if you're the one that did 90% of said allegations? <laughs> it doesn't really, the math doesn't add up there. And you know, I'm in, I'm in calculus, I'm a senior in high school. 
I know that I'm in a position of privilege and power, and I realize that with that comes responsibility. Okay, so she takes responsibility. Case closed, file sealed, never again to be reopened. Ever. Never again. I will never make another Ellen video ever in my life. This is it. This one's it. I, I promise, okay? This is the Ellen DeGeneres Show. I am Ellen DeGeneres. My name is there. My name is there. My name is on underwear. <laughs> okay, Ellen, we, we get it. You're famous. How did you just turn an accusation apology into something about yourself that shifted awfully fast? And who's laughing at that? That wasn't even funny. She just named things that, was, that her name was on. Look, it's my name. My name there. My name's on underwear. And she rhymed a little bit too. Okay, you got some extra points for rhyming. I mean, I, I yeah, that, that's pretty cool. There were also articles in the press and on social media that said that I am not who I appear to be on TV. Oh, here it is. Now she's gonna own up to her mistakes. Okay, finally, we're there, we're there, we are there. And um, here's how that happened. I started saying be kind to one another after a young man named Tyler Clemente took his own life after being bullied for being gay. How? How did, how did we get, how did we, how did we get here? How did we, how did she just go from? As a high school senior in calculus, I can't calculate how she got from her actions, almost owning up to her actions, to being a be kind lady, to someone committing suicide. How? The truth is, I am that person that you see on TV. I am also a lot of other things. I, sometimes I get sad, I get mad, I, I get anxious, I get frustrated, I get impatient. Yeah, Ellen, so does everybody. Every single person has different emotions. That doesn't mean you should wrongfully take them out on your employees. And I am working on all of that. I am a work in progress. And I'm especially working on the impatience thing because, and it's not going well, because it's not happening fast enough. I will tell you that. Nice, fitting another joke into a serious statement. Love that. You know, I, I don't know, I, I'm a talk show host and you know that, but I, maybe some of you know that, you know, I was an actress. I've played a straight woman in movies, so I'm a pretty good actress. <laughs> but I don't think that I'm that good that I could come out here every day for 17 years and fool you. This is me, and my intention is to always be the best person I can be. And if I've ever let someone down, if I've ever hurt their feelings, I am so sorry for that. We got an apology. Woo! Ellen's first apology of season 18. I wonder how long it'll be until the second one. I always try to grow as a person. I look at everything that comes into my life as an opportunity to learn. I got into this business to make people laugh and feel good. That's, that's my favorite thing to do. That and Jenga. <laughs> I love that game. How, again, how are you making it about yourself, Ellen? Oh, well, you know what? It is called The Ellen Show, and her name is everywhere, including on underwear. So I guess that does make sense. I am a boss of 270 people. 270 people who help make this show what it is. 270 people. Yes, clap. Clap. Clap, people, my virtual fans. Oh my god. And then she just rambles on talking about more of herself and the show moving forward. Um, and it's just, it's, it's a mess. And she very obviously avoids the heavy accusations against her. There isn't a single time where she says up front that, oh, I did this or, oh, I did that and I, I feel terrible. She just says, if I did anything to you, I'm sorry, which is like kind of like a hypothetical. Like, I don't remember if I f***ed your shit up, but if I did... I'm deeply sorry. And uh, since then, Ellen's been doing her usual thing, you know, uploading posts on her YouTube channel, shows on the daily, uh, and she does a lot of different things. She does like a, she does this thing where she tells like stories like of her life during quarantine, which I guess can be entertaining to some extent. Like this video, it's called Ellen's Dog Broke His Leg. Hi, how are y'all doing? <laughs> Woo, good. You are virtually the best audience we've had all week. Ha ha. Ha. That was a that was a good joke. Good job, Ellen. Good joke. Ha ha. One thing I love about having a virtual audience is that people can zoom in from all over the world. So now you can watch abroad from abroad. 
You get it? Get it? Because I'm not gonna do, never, I'm not gonna do that again. That's, I can't. There's so many unnecessary jokes. I just I can't I can't get them all. Um, I was so happy to be back, and there were things that I wanted to talk about all summer, and I felt like it was a huge weight lifted off of me. And I thought, okay, good things are finally gonna get back to normal. Look, I'm running okay, so, so fast. Oh, we have pets. yes. You know, run, we have pets. run, run, and, uh, run. We have, uh, running, dogs running is that, good. Well, here he is. This is him when he came home. That's his extra long cast so that we can have his dog friend sign it. Oh, look at that cute dog. Aww, and it has a broken leg. Poor thing. Give that video a like. Look at the cute little dog. All right, anyway, back to hating on Ellen. She also does these interviews with um, people over Zoom, which equates to a lot of awkward silences and, you know, when you talk over people. And, you know, that happens. I've experienced that firsthand. And they're just really funny. And they just add, I don't know why, but they just add a lot to the video. So, for example, uh, Ellen and Kerry Washington do this uh, bit where they surprise a fan. Uh, the reason they surprise her is because she got her teeth removed and the video was really funny. She was just talking about how you need to vote because it's important. By the way, it is. If you're over 18, vote. Please, for f**k's sake, vote. So let's talk about the hey. video. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Ellen. Hi. Hi. I you, love how passionate video. you are about Wait, voting. Uh, are you... Awkward. A few days pass and Ellen is still getting a lot of hate in her comment section. She turned off her comments for her first video. Uh, and uh, her executive, her new executive producer, Twitch, who was her old DJ, fake DJ, I, I think she said. Unfortunately, I had to take the fake DJ equipment away. That's okay. You got that's, nothing that's... there now to <laughs> pretend like you're a DJ. Yeah, exactly. A DJ can actually use that now. He guest hosts when Ellen isn't there to host for some unexplained reason. Why isn't Ellen there? Maybe she's sick or maybe the hate's getting to her. Huh. And I like Twitch. Uh, I th I think he's a really cool guy and he would do great on Twitch, the platform. You know, because <laughs> laugh, that was a good joke. But I don't think he's made for this whole host shtick. He just kind of like, he has the same humor as, as Ellen almost. He kind of like forces things out and expects you, or sorry, demands you to laugh using like the laugh track and stuff. Y'all, I'm so happy to be back here in the studio and I think my family is happy about it too. And I mean, after six months of being at home, even my dog was kind of like, bro, don't you have somewhere to be? Like, get out of here. <laughs> but I honestly think he's a very genuine person. He also does another video with Addison Ray, um, and that one's fine too. I mean, Addison is just, you know, being Addison. Remember, I was Addison Ray for a day, so I know I know exactly, Addison, how she is in a day. Craziest thing to me. That's amazing. And Thanks. also with that, life has changed dramatically, I'm sure. You have famous friends now, <laughs> right? You mean, you mean we have famous friends because I'm also Addison Ray. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end it here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe because uh, you should. I'm in school right now and I'm going out of my way to make videos for you. So subscribe. God damn it. And I'll see you guys next video where we take people's homes and more. Yeah.